we need to be very, very careful when we go to cast stones. As a matter of fact, we really don't even need to be casting stones. We need to let Jesus be the judge. There is righteous judgment. We do need to be careful um, who we allow in our life and what we do and how, who we allow in our kids' life and, and stuff like that. And, and if there's a brother or sister that is found in, in sin, you know, the Bible says that we ought to go to them and we ought to try to correct them in, in a loving manner. And if they don't listen, to go get two or three other brother in it. Then, then if they don't listen, the Bible says, then go take them to the church. And, and if they don't want to listen to the church, and then it says that, you know, then the church should, uh, you know, discipline them and how, you know, how they see fit. But uh, a lot of us, you know, like to act as the judge of God, and we like to throw stones. And the problem with this is uh, we we don't use the loving nature of God when when we go to discipline or correct people. We throw stones in a way that we uh, deter people um, from the love of God, and we deter them from even wanting to become a follower of God because when they look to us and they see nothing but hate and they see nothing but judgment they don't want to come to church they don't have a want they don't want a relationship with God they don't want to walk with God if they look at us and they see they see nothing but judgment and hatefulness and and complaining and murmuring and and casting stones and 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 this that and the other you know remember that part of the Bible where they were going to stone that woman to death and Jesus uh, reached down into the the ground the sand and he began to write something and they began to feel pricked in their hearts because what it was is they they all was trying to cast stones at this woman acting like they were perfect and acting like they had no sin in their life and acting like that you know she was some filthy filthy animal and they were perfect as can be and then Jesus wrote something in the in the sand and I don't know what it was maybe he wrote out each one of their sins you know it doesn't really say what he wrote down into the ground but I believe that a lot of us want to cast stones and we want to we want to hinder people's ministries and people's walk with God because we want to look on their their appearance and we want to look that they have tattoos and we want to look on the former things that they did we want to look on their past sins and we want to begin to cast lots and cast judgments on them and I'm telling you guys this is a day dangerous thing to do because it can deter people and turn people away from God. It literally can damn somebody's soul to hell, if you will. I'm telling you the truth, guys. We have to be very, very careful on how we judge because if we're willing to cast stones before we'll get the sin out of our own life, the Bible says we need to remove the, the, the moat that's in our eyes before we, you know, the beam in our eyes before we try to remove somebody's speck in their eyes. Come on, somebody. We need to be very careful how we cast judgment on people because it has major effects on the on the the works of God come on we need to be loving merciful